Hi there, art lover. Welcome to this episode about Compel, an artwork that is different because it lies on the floor instead of on the wall. In this artwork, sometimes like you and me, without being able to do anything about it, people sometimes just walk over you. And at the same time, you sometimes do this yourself to others. And maybe not always consciously, sometimes you might want to do it because you want to hurt someone intentionally. Especially in a world that seems to become more intolerant, this artwork seems to be more relevant than ever. Because it reminds us of how we as human beings treat each other. Compelled, unlike usually in photography, is not printed on photo paper. It is printed on carpets. They are about 140 by 19 centimeters. And there are seven different images. Five boys and two girls. There are many similarities between human behavior and the series Compelled. Fortunately, we see that most people do not want to harm others. Likewise, we see that most people often walk around the carpet, just they are mindful of you. But sometimes, people are just busy with themselves, or with the impressions around them. They just don't realize that you are standing on your soul, or in this case, the rock Compelled. The way Compelled is made is interesting because it's not made out of different layers by Photoshop. It is made with uh, one photo and it's a combination of daylight and flashlight. So you see the movement of the daylight with the flashlight that freezes the image. And it's a long shutter time that creates this effect. And then we also use the depth of field to focus the uh, sharp point on the eyes and uh, a little bit on the hands and hair. But then the background is... Uh, uh, very soft in the image again. In conclusion, Compel is quite an impressive artwork for me uh, because it has been to many expositions already uh, and I'm sure you have a chance to see him somewhere else in the world. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching and uh, like, subscribe, do the whole YouTube stuff and uh, see you next time.